Okay, we're back with a little more detail on what the Catalyst controller from the 4MS company actually does. As a reminder, this is the alternative firmware to the Catalyst sequencer, which can be accessed with a button combination and an optional flip of the front panel. The best way to think about what the Catalyst controller is, is that it's a control voltage preset manager. If you've ever used an electron octatrack, it's similar to that device's famous fader. The concept is that you set a control voltage state for each of the various output channels in one of the eight available scenes. Right now, we have our Moog DFAM running, and the Catalyst is patched to modulate four different parameters. We can use the crossfader to blend between those scenes. As you push the crossfader towards the next scene, the parameters start to adjust so you have this smooth transition from one state to another. The crossfader is super smooth and there's plenty of room on the panel to grip it and make slow transitional builds or quick timed jumps. The other really cool thing about this module is that you're not limited to blending between only two scenes. You can add more scenes at different points on the fader for a different modulation path. You can even blend back and forth between scenes in a predetermined order. And you can hold any scene button to momentarily engage it. The whole concept is a really awesome approach to adding a performative aspect to your patch, and we spent many hours today alone just listening to this same DFAM riff while modulating it with the Catalyst controller. As always, a huge thanks to our friends at the 4MS company for helping with this video, and happy patching.